Hello ladies, it's Sarah Beth here at Southern Belle Reviews and welcome to my channel. It is now April 2024, so happy spring. All of the flowers are blooming and it's beautiful. So I just did a video for the LA Colors Blueberry Blast eye palette. This is from the Pretty Fun Collection and the theme is Feeling Blue for Parental Alienation, which is a bit of a hard topic. It was a bit of a long-winded video, but I hope you guys like it. So I'm wearing blue for that and for April. And that would be my Fifty Shades of Panning number four for my Fifty Shades of Blue project, which was Panning Blue or Feeling Blue for World Parental Alienation Awareness Day. I also had this palette, which is the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette. And this was my Fifty Shades of Panning number three for Fifty Shades of the Rainbow Project. And it was Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That was my theme. And I also have this bucket right here of makeup that I want to review. Now, I'm not going to review all of it right now because I really want to take more in-depth looks at each item in this bucket. Like, for example, this ColourPop Disney uh, Bambi palette. It's a little pressed powder palette with flower on it. And it's funny that I got this in a mystery bag because flower was my favorite character from Bambi. Aside from Bambi, just because you can call me flower if you want to. I love skunks. And she really gave a nice, or he, I can't remember if it's a boy or girl. And he really gave a nice representation of skunks. Especially when people do not like skunks, they don't see them as cutesy wootsy, they see them as ew yuck. <laughs> and because of the Bambi movie, ever since I was a young child, I have always loved skunks and raccoons and squirrels and everything else. Here's our little palette. I really do want to work on this. I could swatch it for you guys. I want to go through this bucket and like look at some of this stuff and just play with it a little bit. So I guess we could do that in this video. So first we have So Shy, Pretty Flower, Oh Gosh, Little Stinker, and Hibernating. Those are the colors that we have on the back of this palette. And this is so cute. I love how small it is. I like little eyeshadow palettes because I'm not as overwhelmed by all of the colors. Like some of the big palettes, they're just too much. Like they're just overwhelming so many colors and so many things to do and I like just a very small color scheme that I can work through and then I feel better when I've hit pan in one of the shades. Okay so this cute little palette comes with a mirror which I don't really need but I love that it has this little skunk flower looking at you and I just hear him or her saying you can call me flower if you want to because Bambi sniffs them and goes flower and it's just adorable. So the first shade we have is So Shy, which is like a shimmery white. It feels very powdery, but very white. Nice inner corner color. So that's one swatch. And let's do another one. Okay, that's two. Wow, that is really pigmented. Okay, that was So Shy. Then we have Pretty Flower, which looks like a, a matte lavender. So Shy was more of a shimmer. Okay, I've got it swatched on two fingers just because there's some extra powder in it. All right, Pretty Flower. One swatch. Two swatches. Let's blend it out a little bit because it's kind of powdery. And there it is. Pretty flower. What kind of flower do you guys think of when you see that? I think of like a hyacinth or an iris, maybe? Even a tulip? Up next we have a shimmery purple. And the shade name is Oh Gosh. Oh, that is pretty. It seemed a little deep in the pan. But I really like that. I like that. Oh gosh. That's really pretty. I love shimmers. So this white shimmer, which is so shy, and then oh gosh, those are like my favorite so far in this palette. Really, really pretty. 
Okay, then we have two dark tones. They look really dark in the palette. They look like colors I might not reach for as much. Little Stinker and Hibernating, which is almost black. You can see the shimmer on my finger. Like, that is purpley shimmer. But let's do Little Stinker first. Okay, I'm blending it out, but that is still pretty intense. I don't really like that shade of purple, that little stinker, um, and I don't like the name. It's got a little bit of red in it. I wonder if it stains like the recent collection that came out, the Lost in Love palette, stained really bad. All right, here's Hibernating, which is a very goth-like color, but you know what? It's a skunk, and she's black and white, and I love the skunk. Um, here's two swatches of it. It's a black. That's a glittery black. What would I use that for? So this is the eyeshadow palette. These are the shades that come in it. And you get two very light shimmer shades, two mattes, which are this lavender and then this reddish purple, and then this really dark black shimmer. I love the color scheme, um, but it's a little bit mm, much for me. But I do like how there's less colors, so I might be more likely to use this up faster. But the hibernating, that dark one, I'm not going to use that as much. I could use it as eyeliner or shading, um, but I don't really do that a whole lot. But I could designate it for that. All right, let's take a makeup wipe and get it off. Because it kind of, the color pop, I've just noticed that they stain a little bit. But all makeup tends to do that anyways. Here's another palette that I got from Ipsy recently in a mystery bag. And it is the Half Caked Nine Pigment Palette in Your Eyes Only. It's a floppy disk, so it's like so 90s or early 2000s, back when teachers made us have floppy disks for everything, but we only used them for like a year or two years and never again. And they would only fit like one file on them. <laughs> Do you remember like your term paper or whatever project was on a floppy disk and you're finding it 10, 20 years later and you're like, what the heck is this? Because you can't even put it in a computer anymore. You can't view it anymore. So anyway, it's so nostalgic and I really wanted this palette for the longest time and then I just decided I didn't need it, but I ended up with it anyway. The colors are on the back. They have these like totally retro Y2K files on them. We have disk space, set it off, X files like ex-boyfriend, OK computer, two on, AYO technology buffering, payload, and digital get down. So there's nine names. So when you open it up, you've got nine shades that are like nudes and one very dark berry. So it's a little confusing because you think it's going to be pinks. Like there's going to be some hot pink in there, right? Like some neons, maybe some, you know, like purple, maybe some lime green, maybe some baby blue, but no, you get a bunch of nudes. So let's swatch it and see what I think about it. We have Disc Space, which is, I guess, like a nude tone or beige. And it's just going to drown in my skin tone because I'm white girl. I am white girl. I'm going to do it right along this side. <laughs> I don't know if this will work or not, but let's try it. Okay, how's that working for you? Can you see that? Is it drowning in my skin tone? You see how dark or light that is on me? So that is disc space. The colors feel soft, like I could use this. And I do like that they're nudes. They're shades that I would use on a regular basis. And I need something that I can use every day. I don't wear crazy eye looks every single day. I stick closer to nudes and soft tones. So here's the next one. This is Set It Off. It's like a gold shimmer, a very light gold shimmer, I might add. I really like it. And again, that soft consistency. There is Set It Off. It's almost like a gold, but it's a very light gold. Then we have X-Files, ex-boyfriend, <laughs> EX Files. It's a brown shimmer. Oh, these are all soft. So brown shimmer on my fingy. 
I don't really reach for browns a lot, but you know what? I'm wearing brown eyeliner, so I've swatched it about three times just to make sure I get a nice good swatch on it. And here it is. And that's nice. Like, I could blend that out and come up with something really nice, especially with those other shades. But I don't see anything 90s about this. I do think it should have more neons or pastels, at least. All right, next up we have OK Computer. Like, I feel like Tia or Tamara Maori saying OK Computer. <laughs> All right, so here it is, OK Computer. That was like a, a 90s, 2000s Disney movie, you know. Okay, that's definitely like a bronze. Again, really nice. This one is two on. The number two, the word on. It's a pink shimmer. I have brown underneath it, so it looks like there's brown on there. But it's just like a rose gold. There it is. It's really nice. Okay, the next one is AYO, like IO, AO Technology, and it's a matte brown. There it is. There it is, that last brown. Next shade we have is Buffering. I'm sure you guys remember that back in the old days when we had dial-up internet and the computer would go, da -da 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 -e! and it was like making weird noises and maybe somebody would get on the phone and the internet would disconnect, <laughs> you know, or vice versa. Okay, so there's buffering. Like, almost a nude, like I could blend it out with this shade right here or the shade right here and make a nice subtle nude look. I'm just thinking of how like I would actually use it in real life. How would I actually use this palette? very lightly okay this one is payload like finally in oregon trail i hit the payload or like amazon amazon rainforest what's it called amazon trail or the amazon. <laughs> okay so here's payload or maybe like pac-man well that's way before the 90s though there's payload there it is it looks a lot like this one which is our fourth one. So this is OK Computer, and this is Payload. And we have the shimmery pink, which is two on, but then we have Digital Get Down. These are the only pinks in this palette. I would consider this a berry, like a reddish berry. There's Digital Get Down, and it's a berry red. So that's the only, like, actual color, because this I would consider, like, a rose gold, shimmery pink, whatever. I don't really consider this a color because of the shimmer. Like, it's more of a rose gold. I don't know. It's got a goldish hue to it, but this is the only what I would consider a color in the palette. It's beautiful, and the colors are nice and soft, and I feel like I would use this palette. But what do you guys think? Nice palette? Would you get one? Do you have one of these? What do you think of it? Okay, so next up I have a palette that I got for my 31st birthday, and I've never used it. I've never swatched it or anything. Okay, so I've been meaning to make, like, a bunch of Get Ready With Me videos for all these new palettes, and, you know, I just haven't gotten around to it. I have a very busy life and a small business, and I'm a homeschool mom and just other things going on, so I just didn't get around to it. So that's why I wanted to do swatches today and just kind of go over these palettes and show you what I'm talking about. So this is the Profusion Cosmetics Free Spirit Palette. It's a 25 shade palette. It's from the Empowered Butterfly Collection, and I really think this is beautiful. The butterfly itself is like holographic. The camera does not do it justice right now. I don't even know if you can see the wings, like there's shimmer in the wings, but it doesn't matter. But the palette itself is really big and I've been a bit overwhelmed by it. I have an even bigger palette called the Myrrh Fantasia. This is the Rude Cosmetics Myrrh Fantasia 35 Pressed Pigment Shadow Palette. It's book eight and it's humongous. So like I said, 35 shades and that is overwhelming because they're not put together. I really want to take these out and then put them back in the way I want to, like the way I want to sort them. Like I don't want to tear up the palette. But here's this, I've only used it like maybe once or twice for a get ready with me and then I haven't really touched it that much. 
because the colors are everywhere. There's so many, but my husband bought me this and it just felt like I should keep it. But it is ginormous. I'm not going to swatch it because that's 35 colors to swatch. But I wanted to show you how much bigger it is than the Empowered Butterfly palette that I have in front of me. But this one is really overwhelming too. Like I always think I can get these big palettes and it's going to help my creativity. And then it's just too much. It's like too many colors. But here it is. Ginormous mirror and everything. I'll just try to show you the shades. I have swatched it once, but <laughs> that's about it. But let's get into it. I'm going to swatch it for you now just because I want you to see these beautiful colors. But like I said, I've never used this. I have meant to do a look with it and I just haven't done it. So I think I'm just going to swatch like the blues and the beiges and the whites, like shimmers. So let's start with Soul. It's a light shimmer and I really like this one. It could be used as a highlighter as well if you wanted or for inner corners. There is Soul. Next to it is Delicate, which makes me think of Taylor Swift. And it's like... I don't know how to show you this beautiful color correctly. Like, it's not showing up on camera in the way that it is. Like, it's holographic and it's beautiful. So that's delicate. I have another one over here that's kind of a yellowy shimmer and it's Joy. And this is definitely like a butterfly palette with butterfly colors. So there's Joy. All three of these could be used as highlights. Um, I have a pink here I'd like to swatch. It's called Painted Lady, and it has, you know, an embossed butterfly on it. Of course, those are going to disappear <laughs> relatively quickly. I like the pink. It's very light, very light shade I feel like I would use. And it shows up differently on camera. And then Playful over here, which is kind of a dusty periwinkle blue. These pans, I think one of my complaints here is that the pans are so small but it means that I can have more colors and pan them faster. And that's the same thing that I can say about the Profusion Desert Sage. Like these pans are teeny weeny tiny around the center and then around the outside they're bigger and they just, like you can't get your brush in them, you can't splash them and then like in the corners you feel like there's gonna be product you're not gonna be able to get to. That's a common complaint that I've heard in other reviews. But let's continue with our Empowered Butterfly or our Free Spirit palette. I really like butterfly palettes, and I think that's why I was drawn to this. So our next color is Spring Azure, and it's another blue. So I really like these pastels. I have one here that's almost a teal, like a baby teal. It's called Hope. Yeah, basically I'm just sticking to pastels right now. There's Hope. I have Nectar, which is like orange or peachy. There it is. Nectar. And then I have Vibrant, which is a lime green. And I have one more I'll swatch. It's called Charming. And it's that very light purple, like lavender. And then those are some pastels from the palette that I like. There's that light purple there at the bottom. You can't really see it very well, but it's there. So yeah, it's just a lot of different colors and I wish they were sorted better. Like I want the blues to be with the blues. I want the green to be with the yellow and the white could be with the green and the yellow. The browns should be together. Um, and if you wanted to sort it by shimmers or pressed glitter, if these two purples are pressed glitters, um, they're really beautiful by the way. Um, but I am kind of intimidated by press glitters because I worry about things getting in my eyes, which is why I don't use liquid liners very often. But this palette is beautiful. And then going back to the Profusion Desert Sage palette, I got this for my 30th birthday. So I've had this a little over a year and I've barely touched it. 25 shade palette, lots of colors. One of my other complaints other than, you know, these pans, some of them are bigger than others. So this one is bigger, this one's bigger, this one's bigger, this one's bigger. These are different sizes and these are really, these are really small in the flower shape. And then the one in the center is the only one that's just circular. The rest of them are like shaped like a medical kidney dish, you know? Um, but the only other complaint that I have is that the plastic protector that's on it, every palette comes with one of these plastic films that covers 
the eyeshadows, the whole palette will be covered in this plastic sheet. The sheet came with the names of the makeup. Now, when you take the sheet, obviously, you're not going to keep it forever. Eventually, you're going to throw it away. I went through recently, took all the sheets off my palettes and threw them away. Just because they were taking up space. They collect lint and dust and things like that. And they're not helpful. They're not really that helpful. Just take them out and throw them away. And so, now the names are gone, I have no idea what they are. And that's not a big deal for people who are just using this every day, but for those of us who are making videos on our YouTube channel, we want to show you guys exactly what color we used. And I know it has a name, but I don't know what the name of it is anymore. It's gone. I don't know the name. It has no name. So that kind of irritates me a little bit. Just a little bit, because I like to know the name of it. It makes me either drawn to or less drawn to a product or a color, if I know and like the name or dislike the name. So let's swatch this, um, just a few of them, not all of them. The one in the center is a pressed glitter, and it's just a clear. And this is the round pan. It's the only round pan in the palette. So that's our only round pan right there. And that's the pressed glitter in the palette. Like the pressed glitter. And it's beautiful. It would be a great eyeshadow topper, but um, with the pans, with these other ones, it's hard to get my finger in them. And I have really small hands, so I'm going to do my best here. So here's a shimmery blue, which I no longer name, know the name of, but it's a nice shimmery light blue. And next to it is a nice shimmery lime green, or light green. I like the colors in this palette. Um... They're really pretty. There's a lot to go around and a lot to try, and I'd like to use it more. It's just that I do prefer my color schemes to be more, like I know where everything is. All the blues are together like this. Um, and even, even this palette right here, which is a NYX palette, all of the reds are basically together, all the purples, all the blues, and all the yellows and greens. It's organized. I like that. I need that. Maybe it's just my OCD talking. I don't know. These are from the small pans, which is this blue, this green, and then this pink. Pink is really hard to see, but it's under the green. And these pans are really hard to get to, with a finger at least. Maybe they're easier with a brush. I like these greens. I really like these military, like olive drab greens. So I'm gonna swatch those. Um, but I don't feel like I wear them often. Like that's really a deep green. But I do feel like they're very nice military greens. I'll probably reach for them the next time my husband and I have a water gun fight with our son. <laughs> Although there's some fallout in that olive drab which is the lower one. And then here's a, another green. It's like a shimmery military green. So there they are on my fingers. And I just, I love those military greens. Those are really nice. I like those. So that was one of the reasons that I liked this palette was those three shades, which I know is silly, but I think what really drew me to this palette is I wanted to launch my own brand and I had a theme for an eyeshadow palette. I could not afford to produce it. But many brands have done similar, but I have this thing in mind that I really wanted to do, and this is very similar to what I wanted to make. And it came out when I was trying to launch my palette. And I wasn't gonna make it like this, and I'm not gonna give away my idea out here because I don't want anyone to steal it, but I just loved this. It felt like we had had the same dream, but they were able to afford it financially, and I was not. And I just love what they did, and I just had to have it. I just had to have it because it reminded me of what I wanted to make, what I wished I could afford to make. So I was a little bit, like, jealous, I guess, of, like, the big brands, or even indie brands who can afford to make these palettes. Um, and it's really difficult to have a brand or to start up a brand um, that's why I do not support, like, celebrity brands and stuff. Because, of course, they have the money to make it, right? And it's not really fair to those who are making really creative or trying to make really nice, um, quality products or can't afford to do it, um, just because they don't have that fancy name or that 
celebrity name or influencer name backing it, people don't want to buy it, but it's a much nicer indie product. And I think that's why some of the indie products like Menagerie Cosmetics or Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics, they're way more expensive. Oh, another thing that I wanted to mention about the Desert Sage. These get stuck on things. Like, I love that these poke out, but at the same time, they probably shouldn't have done this because it has to sit up upside down on the flat part. This is how I keep it on my desk or in the drawer. It has to be on the bottom, like upside down on this flat part because this cannot, this can't go down obviously. It'll get bent all to shreds and then this one always gets hit. So you can kind of see that. So I kind of wish they hadn't done that. I wish they just kept it a square shape. Just a square shape would have been fine. Another palette, and my last palette of the day that I have not reached for, <laughs> that I'd like to review in the future or I'd like to use in the future, this is the Physicians Formula All-Star Face Palette. And you know what? I don't use bronzers very much. I don't use blushes very much. I'm using a blush today, very lightly. It's a ColourPop Lip and Cheek Balm from the Lost in Love Valentine's Day collection for 2024, February 2024. Somewhere in that today but I don't normally wear blush. I was selling this in my store. I had this for sale in my store for a while. It has not been touched at all. I decided to take it down and keep it because these shades I can use, not only as eyeshadows, but I could use this blush because I only have a few, like I have one powder blush right now. And then I know that I can use these as eyeshadows for nude looks. And I feel like I'll do that. So I'm going to take the plastic off today and swatch this for you. Now I know you guys are probably, you might have seen this palette before and might even have used it yourself or own it yourself. And you use it for bronzer and the highlighter and the powder. Me? Oh, it smells so good. I love the way Physicians Formula smells. Have you guys smelled Physicians Formula lately? It really does. Like everything smells like butter. <laughs> Can't believe it's not butter. Don't eat your makeup, guys. <laughs> um, but you guys probably use these for the butter bronzer, the all day petal glow, um, the mineral glow highlighting pearls and different things. And it's a face palette, right? Mainly this can be used as blush and this is a powder. Um, this can be used for eyeshadow or inner corners, and if I want to, I'll use it as highlighter, but I probably won't because I just don't use highlighter that much. And this will probably be used as an eyeshadow, again, like these two will probably be eyeshadows. And then, same thing with these, eyeshadows. So this is probably going to be four eyeshadows and then a blush and a powder. I'm just being honest with you guys. So let's swatch it, I might as well. I have this other brush that I need to review, so this is as good a time as any. This is an S. Elmis Glam Concealer C01 brush that I got from Ipsy, and it's so cute. It's a little orange slice brush. Let's see about using the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush, which is the heart blush. I'm using this one. I'm just gonna do this. Try to do this, because I feel like I'm wasting the blush. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting the blush with getting all that powder everywhere. All right, so I already have blush on, but I'm putting on more because it's nice to build it. So this brush is for concealer, but I don't care. There's no rules. So I do what I want. <laughs> okay, and let's try this brush on like my hand and see how the blush looks on my hand. So I'm gonna move it over the brown heart and the pink heart and whatever the shade is. Let's see what I got. Oh, it's very light. Maybe I'll try an actual swatch because that's like super, super, super light, but I like that. This brush is super cute, except cleaning it. I have this part that's angled and it's kind of a pain in the butt to clean it. I have to use an extra bit of care cleaning this brush, but I feel like I can use it for powder. I can use it for highlighter. I can use it for concealer. I have used it for concealer 
and I can use it for blush. So I'm going to swatch this. There's the blush. Very light. Definitely my, my type of blush. And then the powder next to it. Um, I don't need to swatch a powder, but I'm thinking about this one that looks kind of like a flower or, you know, um, hexagons. Are those hexagons? Yes, those are hexagons, not octagons. Octagons eight, hexagons six. Um, I'm going to swatch the Petal Glow right here. Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. Look at that. Like, it's so shimmery. That reminds me of one of my other eyeshadows that I swatched. Wow. See, I can use this as an eyeshadow, just like my eyeshadow palette. It's just a bigger swatch. So that's what you can use as a highlighter or eyeshadow. And I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. I got brown in this one on accident. So it's just like, whatever. It's not white anymore. Now it's brown. <laughs> I put the brush in it. And I regret my decision, but it's all good. So the Rosé All Day Petal Glow is like this gold. And that would be it right there on the bottom of my hands. There's so much highlighter and stuff on my hands. My hand is so shiny, but that's beautiful. That's going to make a nice, simple eyeshadow look that I can wear. And feel comfortable in my skin. I feel like this whole palette will compliment me even though I kind of messed up the pearls. It's all good. It's going to be fine. I promise. And just for the sake of being artsy. So my son likes to wear makeup sometimes. And we're a pretty traditional family. I'm very feminine. He's very masculine like his dad. He's silly. He loves his mom so much. He wants to emulate people that he cares about. And he sees me doing makeup and he says, I want to do it too. I just want to do what mom's doing because we're really close. So it's not like a gender thing. He's just a little boy who wants to do what other people are doing. Monkey see, monkey do. So don't think too hard about it. But he likes to do a little bit of makeup sometimes. So I'll give him a brush. And he loves my Hello Kitty Compact. He'll look at himself. He'll carry it around with him and make faces in it. And he's so cute. He's five. And he's figuring out himself and what he likes. So I made him this. I have this notepad that is a seashell notepad. But I think I got this on Mercari. And it's not sticky or anything. There's just regular old notepad paper. And I love it. It's so cute. But I barely use it because it's so cute. I don't want to use it all. But I thought it would have been perfect for this. So we actually sat down with a box of Crayola crayons. And everyone is different. I made him his own little makeup palette. I gave him an old makeup brush. Which one was it? I think it was this one because it has paint on it or nail polish on it. And just let him go to town and he would put the brush in it and put it on his face. And he said, there's no real makeup in this. And I said, yeah, it's made out of crayons. We just drew it, you know, let's just pretend. And he said, oh, let's just pretend. I don't want to just pretend. I want, you know, I want to play in the real makeup. And so there is this one thing I let him play with. And he just did this like all over his face. <laughs> this is the Medusa's Makeup Halo Glow Face Stick. And it's just something that I need to pan or use up. This is an Astro and he has fun with this. He can just put it on his arm. And he did this. He put it on his face, put it on his arm, wherever. Just a little highlighter stick that he can have fun, you know, whatever. And then it comes right off. So, and I'll just give this to him. I'll put this right here so you can see a swatch of it. So you can just, whatever, right? And that's what he did. That's a really nice highlighter too. And you can actually use that as eyeshadow if you want to, but it might crease. But that's a highlighter and see how shimmery that is but i gave this to him basically so he can play with it i'm really like ocd about my makeup so getting brown you know uh, blush in the white pearls the perfect white pearls is kind of like oh no but it will come off <laughs> i will get it out if i focus on that particular shade then I'll rub it off eventually. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have an entire bucket full of other stuff to get to, but I just wanted to focus on palettes at the moment. That was quite a few palettes and quite a long video. So if you're interested, check out some of my other videos. I have plenty. I've been on here for 11, 12 years. I'm one of the OG YouTubers. 
but I got here after the 2010 YouTube beauty community went crazy. So I got here a little bit late um, in 2011. That's okay. I've been here since 2011. I believe August 2011. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that you have a more amazing, fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.